Hello guys, thanks for watching, Adrian here from AppSeed. So in this uh, short video I want to say a few words about the, the new generator that we will provide really soon. Um, this new product will be deployed on app.minusgenerator.dev and it's uh, basically a generator for Django um, that um, aims to, to help developers to, to build uh, without uh, coding uh, APIs and um, uh, application on top of Django. Uh, let me present the, the interface. So uh, here will be um, a video that explained, really explains the process. Here are the, the features of this new project. Basically, the user can select the design, choose the features, it will be a simple, super simple UI that we will uh, visualize uh, in, this, in this presentation in just a few minutes. Uh, the code base is uh, generated much, much faster compared to the current version of AppSeed because the, um, the, the process is different, the, um, the code pa pattern is different and uh, of course the result um, it's, it's much, much faster just to compare the time. Uh, currently AppSeed um, you know, generates a, a product, um, let's say in one minute or two at the average time. But uh, this new new product uh, is able to generate in under 50 seconds and also push the deploy live in the, another 30 seconds. So it's much faster because the, the, the um, design pattern of the generator was, uh, uh, was improved. Okay, the, the source code is of course uh, uploaded to GitHub and also the, the product is, uh, is pushed, uh, is pushed to, to, to be live using the render deployment platform. Here are some, some things. Uh, this is the pricing, which is uh, different compared to, to AppSeed. So uh, we will provide a free layer for, um, for the first five um, uh, starters. And uh, once you, you reach this, uh, this threshold, um, we will charge an, uh, only $9 per starter. Uh, and uh, this is a uh, super decent uh, pricing, we think because you can uh, use the, the generated code for a commercial project you can customize the code base you can add models uh, authentication docker and other other things uh, custom development is just an extra feature uh, that uh, many of our users uh, are constantly act, ask for and uh, this link will uh, will go to to AppSeed. It's not important for for this uh, for this presentation, but uh, we will offer also some uh, customization services in case uh, someone is using our product and uh, need to bootstrap fast uh, their development. Okay, let's uh, sign in. Uh, the sign-in process uh, accepts only the the GitHub because we are uh, hardly coupled with GitHub um, to upload sources to um, uh, push the deployment to render. So we prefer to to use only GitHub as a um, authenticator. So um, uh, we think uh, this is a good thing um, without using any passwords and other emails and stuff. Okay, this is the UI. On this on this card, you can choose the design, which is uh, now covers only six uh, six products. But this is irrelevant. We will add all our uh, integrated kits, which are uh, I think around 50 designs or so. So uh, you can choose uh, whatever design you you like. On this box, you can customize the the database. You can choose the the driver. Of course, all other credentials that are relevant for your product. Uh, here in this tab, you can uh, customize the, the extended user model. You can uh, add new models here or simply uh, edit, um, uh, edit the custom user model by adding new, new fields. Let's, uh, I don't know, add a new model. Let's say sales. Uh, product, which is string, um, let's say price, which is integer, okay, once we click, click save, 
uh, we, we a new tab is created here and the generator will take into account this definition uh, in case you want to generate an API on top of this uh, table you just need to to activate this this feature okay let's uh, Uh, let's move forward uh, and uh, take a look at the um, authentication option. You can um, use the session-based authentication or simply switch to uh, GitHub or Twitter or Google. Uh, these options, uh, all these options uh, will be available uh, really soon. Uh, another thing is to to enable or disable the Docker, Docker support and uh, also um, uh, continuous integration scripts. Um, the product by default will go uh, will go live, but uh, will be automatically raised in six hours or, or so. Okay, let's um, generate the product. We can check out here the uh, how the application works. Now the product is generated. You you will see this uh, this pop up, and uh, you need to to go to the um, to the tasks uh, um, page where the current state of the um, of the product is is listed you can check out in the in the um, in the application logs that all the um, the product is successfully generated now it's currently uploaded to to github and uh, soon the product should be up and running or render Okay, so we have a successful uh, successful status. Let's refresh the page, and uh, we can see here that the, the product was successfully generated. Let's uh, access the um, repository. We can see here that the uh, time step of this uh, of this code base is uh, is really is really fresh, and also we can uh, we can check out the, um, the deployment progress. This is the um, render dashboard where the, the new products are, are are deployed. Until the product goes live, <coughs> we can uh, just simply go back to the generator and uh, generate another product. Let's uh, pick this one, material kit, which is super nice. Okay. Same thing the the product is generated let's click another one very looks super nice cool so i just created three three products let's create another one i don't know pixel it's also it's also a super popular uh starter okay so basically i've generated four products and now uh, I should go to the. Um, I should wait the um, the completion of this uh, of the process for for each product. And also we can check out here and render the the status of the of the deployments. We can see here that two products are already deployed, and another two will come soon. Okay. Let's go back to the task page and we can see here that all, uh, all the um, processes are flagged as being successful and uh, we can check out the repository we can download here the, uh, by clicking on this link we can download the zip archive but uh, it's better to access directly the github repository okay that's really cool. We have four new uh, products generated. Let's uh, go back to the to render dashboard and uh, check out the um, deployment status. Okay, let's uh, access the um, deploy. We can see here that this is uh, super nice. We can authenticate. And works 
the product works. Let's access the second one. I didn't remember the, the design. This one is a, a material kit. Okay, this one is also good. All four are successfully deployed. Let's access this one. I think it's Barry. Okay. Cool. Okay, the same thing in case uh, we can, of course, test, uh, test the, um, the service using another, another GitHub, uh, GitHub ID. Can go here. Let's generate the corporate product, a new product using the corporate design. This design is um, <clears throat> some new Booster 5 um, uh, design from Creative Team, and in my opinion, looks super, super nice. Okay. Now the product is generated. Sources are uploaded to, to GitHub. And soon uh, we should see the the deployment of this uh, this new new product. Cool. Let's go back to the to the render dashboard. Refresh the the deployment. Until the between the the uh pushing the the start and into the render and until the product is basically available to to be accessed there are some i don't know one or two minutes because the the render compiles all the packages and uh, applies the configuration but uh, in the end we should have a, a usable product so the build is successful And uh, once the um, the product is up and running, I will um, I will access the deployment uh, using my uh, my personal dashboard. So this is the live deployment, and the product is super super nice. Okay, uh, the, the the management of the of the starters is. Um, uh, allows the, um, the deletion of the deployment for instance of uh, and also the deletion of the of the service of the generated product if we go back here we have only four uh, only four deployments let me uh, go back here i will delete two deployments and if i go to the render uh, the deployments are successfully deleted. So, guys, this is the um, this is the the product. It's super easy. You can select the design, choose the features, download the sources. Uh, the sources are also uploaded to, to GitHub. The product goes live you know, without any cost for six hours, and uh, the pricing we think it's, it's super super nice. Let us know what you think, and uh, in all cases we will uh, listen the, and apply the feedback if is something that uh, the community can use thanks again for watching adrian here from epsid and uh, i wish you all as always a super super day bye guys